Agriculture officials have been trying to get rid of a destructive beetle in Claremont County for 10 years now. Tate Township is one of only four areas in the nation under quarantine for the Asian longhorned beetle. So what happens if you find this tree killing bug on your property? Investigative reporter Paula Christian brings us the story of a man who lost 400 trees and spent $400,000 not fighting the beetle, but fighting the government. It's disastrous what the federal government can do to a man's farm. Tom Brown raises Black Angus cattle on 60 acres near Bethel. It is surrounded by a thick tree line of mostly maple trees. He says his land is now known as ground zero for the Asian longhorn beetle problem in Claremont County. Water bugs. So that's just what we thought it was. The wood boring beetle is native to Asia and is destructive to trees and forests. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has eradicated the beetle in parts of Illinois, New Jersey, and New York. Now their focus is on Claremont County. State and federal agriculture agents first discovered the invasive pest here in 2011. They cut down thousands of trees to stop their spread, including 400 trees from Brown's land in 2012. Brown says the impact of that tree loss was devastating. The erosion, the uncontrollable water, it's just, it's, it's terrible what they're doing. Now Brown says the agriculture agents want to cut down 1,300 more trees on his property, including 1,268 healthy trees that are not infested with the beetle. Brown says this could destroy his farm. I'm going to leave my grandkids a swamp that's, you know, good for nothing that I've got. I don't even think I can get what I got invested in it back. No one from the U.S. Department of Agriculture would go on camera for this story. In a statement to the I-Team, a spokesperson says in part that removing all infested trees and nearby high-risk host trees is critical. Quote, because leaving a single infested tree could serve as a reservoir for new infestations. What happens to Brown's land and his trees will now be decided here at the federal courthouse in Cincinnati. He doesn't want agents to cut any more trees until they fix past damage. U.S. District Court Judge Tim Black is trying to broker a compromise. This isn't the first time Brown has been in court. The Ohio Department of Agriculture sued him in state court in 2016 to gain access to his property to survey for beetles and cut trees. Brown filed a counterclaim for damages. He says the tree removal in 2012 caused erosion and standing water on his land and cattle to escape. One of them was hit by a car and had to be put down. He says the water runoff also caused severe basement flooding and mold at his house. They were told from the beginning that there would be efforts made to remediate any consequences that occurred from taking out the trees, and it just was never done. Amy Hunt and Brian O'Connell are Brown's lawyers. He hired them in 2016. A judge dismissed Brown's countersuit on a legal issue, ruling that Brown had sued the wrong party for damages because the U.S. Department of Agriculture and not the Ohio Department of Agriculture was responsible for cutting trees to eradicate the beetles. That same judge gave agents permission to survey trees on Brown's property, but not permission to cut them. The Browns don't want a single dollar out of this. They just want to make sure their property is taken care of. Brian O'Connell says armed U.S. Marshals showed up unexpectedly at Brown's home with tree removal crews in March to serve a search and seizure warrant for trees. Crews cut down more than 30 trees before O'Connell says a magistrate put a stop to it. Brown later agreed to a temporary compromise, one that allows agents to cut down 34 infested trees and survey the rest for possible beetles. What happens next is up to a federal judge. Brown says he has already spent $400,000 in legal bills, forcing him to go back to work after years of retirement. I'm convinced that you don't own your property. If they want to come in and take it, they take it. Paula Christian, WCPO 9 I-Team.